In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your your spirit. spirit. It's a pleasure to gather with you and with Alana Bay and Jimmy Velasco this morning to celebrate these great mysteries. As you welcome us into your home, into your rooms, or into into the prison, we take a moment, standing in the very presence of our God, to acknowledge that all of us at times stumble and fail to follow Christ. We ask our Lord's pardon and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and And on earth earth, peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We We praise you, we bless you, you, we adore you, you, we glorify you, we give give you thanks thanks for your your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Almighty Father, Father, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, only only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take take away away the sins of the world, world. receive our prayer. You are are seated at the right hand of the Father, Father. have mercy on us. For you alone, Holy One, One. you alone alone are the Lord, Lord. you alone alone are the Most Most High, Jesus Christ, Christ, with with the the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, Graciously keep us from all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. We pray this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her, and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is the perfection of prudence. And whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care. Because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My My soul soul is thirsting thirsting for you, you, my Lord Lord, and my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, you, my Lord Lord, and my God. God. I will remember you upon my couch, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my health, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My My soul soul is thirsting thirsting for you, you, O Lord Lord, my my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, 
so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who, who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. And may the Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise ones brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. The wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came out and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I don't know if you share one of my better traits. I'm a bit of a procrastinator at times. And it gets some where I put off until tomorrow what should be done today. Thomas Huxley once said that the most valuable result of education is the ability to make yourself do the thing that you have to do when it ought to be done whether you like it or not. It's the first lesson that we ought to learn in our lives, yet it's probably the last lesson we truly learn. I believe that too many of us sometimes relegate the day of reckoning to that far-off future. We forget about the accounting we will be expected to render at the end of time. Now, sometimes we're shaken out of this procrastination by a struggle that comes into our lives. Maybe a sickness, a cancer has come along and strike. Maybe it's a heart attack or stroke. Maybe it's debilitating Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. And suddenly, we find our priorities shifting. Suddenly, time has become that precious commodity and no longer something to waste. 
And the executive headhunter tells a story of how he likes to interview new, new employees, especially directors. He tries to get them comfortable during the interview. He'll take off his jacket, he'll sit down, he'll talk about family, friends, sports, whatever he thinks will relax the person. And then when he senses that they are, their guard is down, that they're relaxed, he'll bend over and look him straight in the eye and he'll say to them, in all seriousness, what is your purpose in life? And this usually gets them off guard because that's not what they're expecting. That's not what they had prepared for. And he tells the story of one executive who came in and when he thought he had him comfortable, he did his leaning over, staring him in the eye, and he said, what is your purpose in life? And the exec executive, without blinking an eye, said, my purpose is to get to heaven and bring as many people as I can with me. We're coming to the end of our church year, and the readings start to focus on the end times. In the Gospel of Matthew today, we hear about the wise and the foolish virgins and the importance of being prepared. That preparation is an urgent personal responsibility. When the bridegroom finally arrives, those virgins who had no oil could not borrow it from others, and it did no good to try and buy it at that late hour. They had the opportunity to be prepared, but for whatever reason, they had chosen not to do so. The church gives us this time of the year, kind of lets us look and stop for a moment and to say to ourselves, have we been used in our time wisely? We're reminded every year at this time about procrastination to prepare for those final days. It's a good reminder, I know for me, and maybe for you, the times when we get lazy and we want to put off until tomorrow, which should be done today. Because there are two times we have no control over, yesterday and tomorrow. The only time we have control over is today. As we stand now in the very presence of our God, confident in God's love and his mercy, we call out with the prayers and needs of this community, of our church, and of our world. For prophets and martyrs, for eloquent preachers and caring pastors that we have here in our community as well, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for voters, that their choices and uh, reflect um, a true wisdom and loving hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the ill and for those who need care and for all those who provide for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for all of us gathered here in this community, that we may not procrastinate that we own up to the fact that we mourn and yet we long for comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, your children stand before you. We place these needs and those that we hold in the very quiets of our hearts this day. We ask that in your love, please listen to them and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. By this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble and contrite spirit, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Please pray, my sisters and brothers, that these gifts, that this sacrifice may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here this day, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving kindness. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion to children and to the poor, to the sick and to the sinner. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father, that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name. We join in that hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, you who love the human race, who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the day before he was to suffer, on the night of his last supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, save us Savior, Savior of the world, world. for by, by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, 
and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you this bread of life, this chalice of blessing. Please look with favor on this oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with those who strive to lead us, especially Francis, our Pope, and your bishops. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened, and to serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your people stand as a living witness the truth and freedom, the peace and justice that all people may be raised up to a new hope. And remember our brothers and sisters, all who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. And grant also to us that when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Father, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the glory, and glory are, yours, are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, as you say to all of us, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but instead look on the faith and love of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with all of you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And let us offer one another some sign of Christ's peace. Peace be, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The 
blood of Christ. Amen. To need the blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 For our final blessing, I'd like to thank you for inviting us in to your home, to your room, or in prison, uh, to share with you today this Eucharist. If you would like to support the ministry of the TV Math, please, um, on the bottom of your screen, you'll see the address in which you can send it to. The Catholic Mass, 1 Peter York Way, San Francisco, California, 94109. If you have special requests or, and would like to speak, you may call Jan Shackern at the Archdiocesan office at 415-614-5643. Again, I'd like to thank Jimmy and Alana for being part and helping to minister here today. And may the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May your hearts be filled with God's peace. May your eyes be filled with the wonder and the beauty of the world that surrounds you. May your hands continue to do deeds of justice for all those that you meet. May your mind seek God's truth in your life. May the Lord watch over and care for you. May he bless you and keep you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And we go in peace to love to serve our Lord as we love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. And don't procrastinate. God bless.